Alright y'all, today we're going to talk about why Cuban chains are a better investment than tennis chains and let's just go straight into it. Yes, yes. I'm a rebel, came to ball, fresh from the ball, back to the wall with my hands on my So guys, listen, the reason why they're a better investment, not necessarily they look better, is because they're heavier and they have more material. So check this out, the way tennis chains are made, if you could see, they're very thin from the back, they're very light. So they're not putting a lot of white gold or silver inside the tennis chain. It weighs very lightly, so there's not a lot of precious metals into it. But when it comes to Cuban chains, right, they're pretty heavy, especially when you go up to 20 millimeters and up, it is pretty heavy. So make sure you know your investments, because check this out. When you're buying jewelry, right, if you go to a pawn shop or try and sell it, they're not going to give you the price for the diamonds in your jewelry. They're going to give you the price for the precious metals. And if you go pawn in a tennis chain, it's really light. You're barely going to get any money. But your Cuban chain, because it's so heavy, you will get back your investment. So check out what I'm trying to say. So say a Cuban chain costs, these are arbitrary numbers. Say it costs like five grand, right? And the, the, there's diamonds in it also. The thing is, people you're getting charged for the craftsmanship somebody had to handcraft that cuban chain and put the diamonds in so you're paying for the material the diamonds and the craftsmanship now if you want it for an investment when you go to a retail store and buy it right um they're ch up charging you because somebody had to make it they charge you for the labor so now that you bought the silver, you have to wait for the silver to appreciate over time or the white gold to appreciate over time for you to get back your investment in the white gold because it takes time for the stocks go up for the price of um, jewelry to go up. So that's just my advice there. And guys, when it comes to the tennis chains, it's not an investment because the material, like it's so light, right? And let's say the price of white gold goes up a little bit. Yes, you might get a little bit of money because of the white gold, but you're not going to get back the cost that, of the labor that somebody uh, made. And the diamonds, you're, getting, you're not even getting 20% of what you paid for the diamonds. You know what I mean? But it's the labor that they went into making the chain that really messes it up as an investment, which is why you might have to wait 10 years or so before you even get the investment back. I'm just ranting. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it, but I do like tennis chains better than Cuban chains. They're my favorite, but overall, Cubans are a better investment. And people are gonna say, yo, diamonds aren't an investment. Listen, when you invest in yourself, it's an investment in your image. But anyways, guys, I'm signing out. Come to my jewelry store, the getflystore.com. Link is in the description. I got the best prices on Cuban chains and tennis chains. So check me out, guys. I'm signing out early.